Now everyone knows that dogs are man's best friend, but how much would you pay for the priceless company of a canine companion? I'm Chris, and I thought I owned an expensive dog, but it turns out his breed doesn't even make this list. So here are eight of the most expensive dog breeds in the world, none of which are my dog Loki. Number 8. Czechoslovakian Vochalk This relatively new breed is a result of an experiment conducted in 1955 in Czechoslovakia, which later split into the modern-day countries of the Czech Republic and Slovakia. The purpose of the experiment was to create a wolf-dog hybrid that possessed the perfect blend of favorable traits between German shepherds and Carpathian wolves for working border patrol. To start, 48 working line German shepherds were crossbred with Carpathian wolves. If all went according to plan, the end result would be a new breed with the strength and stamina of a Carpathian wolf and the temperament, trainability, and pack mentality of a German shepherd. The Czechoslovakian Vochalk, or wolf dog, emerged from the experiment, which was deemed a success. The Vochalk has a reputation as an active and social dog with a lively personality and is also known for being loyal and intelligent. They also rarely bark and are more acclimated to cold weather than most dog breeds. Aside from companionship, the Vuchalk is most commonly used throughout the United States and Europe as a working dog for things like search and rescue, tracking, drafting, and herding. Those looking to buy a Czechoslovakian wolf dog can expect to pay upwards of $1,500. The buyer may also be required to travel to the Czech Republic to get the dog and would be responsible for covering those costs as well. Number 7. Saluki the Saluki originated in the Fertile Crescent and is one of the world's oldest dog breeds and was used for thousands of years as a hunting dog throughout the ancient world, particularly in Egypt and along the Silk Road. Nicknamed the Royal Dog of Egypt, this slim, athletic breed is thought to date back some 7,000 years and is living proof that cats weren't the only household pet that was highly regarded in the days of the pharaohs. In fact, the Saluki was a personal favorite of Alexander the Great. Salukis aren't very playful, but they're gentle, quiet, and not known to become aggressive towards humans. Their main function is as a show dog and a companion. But Salukis are also great hunting dogs. With a greyhound-like build, they can run extremely fast and are highly athletic, requiring a ton of exercise. You can expect to pay around $2,500 for one of these regal dogs. Number 6. Peruvian Inca Orchid The Peruvian Inca Orchid is an agile, intelligent breed that was developed in Peru before the rise of the Incan Empire. These sight hounds come in a variety of sizes, ranging from small to large, and can be coated or even hairless. Smaller versions of the dog can be as little as 10 inches in height, with the larger dogs growing up to 26 inches in height. Their slim, athletic frames resemble that of a greyhound, and it makes them excellent runners. The more common hairless variety come in an array of skin colors, which can be solid or spotted with unpigmented marks. A litter of Peruvian Inca orchids often contains both hairless and coated puppies. Their personalities can be described as lively, loyal, alert, and affectionate. Peruvian Inca orchids are protective of their family, but wary of strangers, making them good watchdogs. For one of these unique hounds... Well, you can expect to pay up to $3,000. And before we get to number five, first, are you new around here? If so, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. We got lots of new videos coming up. Here we go, number five, Japanese Akita. The Japanese Akita is native to the Japanese city of Akita. Today, the Akita is primarily a companion pet, but it was once used to hunt black bears, wild boar, and deer. Its ancestral breed was appropriately referred to as Matagi, which translate to esteemed hunter. In 1931, the Akita was declared a national monument in Japan, where the breed is revered to this day for its role in the country's history and for its nature. Akitas are best known for being loyal, affectionate, and intelligent. They're bred for these traits. 
and as a result have increased in popularity in recent years as police and guard dogs. Due to an inherent independent streak, training an Akita requires a lot of time and energy, but when a dog owner is committed to the task, the results are worth it. Despite their typically gentle nature, Akitas have strong jaws that can cause a lot of damage if they decide to bite. Instances of humans falling victim to unprovoked attacks by Akitas occasionally appear in the news, and they're considered a dangerous breed in some countries. They also reportedly have trouble getting along with other Akitas and dogs of the same sex. This preference for human companion over that of other dogs means the Akita is ideal as an only pet. Besides being smart and loving, Akitas are handsome dogs that are often used for competitive show. They have a robust medium to large frame, pointed ears, and a tail that curls upwards. Keeping an Akita well-groomed requires a daily brushing of their double thick coat, which comes most commonly in shades of white, black, and brindle. Between grooming and training, Akitas are a demanding breed, most appropriate for only the most dedicated dog lovers. They're also expensive with the cost of a puppy typically ranging between $1,500 and $4,500. Number 4. Rottweiler Just a few decades ago, Rottweilers had a reputation for being aggressive and were commonly feared in the United States. Like many other big dogs who've been judged unfairly for their size, the misguided notion that Rottweilers are vicious would eventually start to lose favor among the public. Rotties are among the most loyal dog breeds out there and they're also highly intelligent. When a Rottweiler is trained and socialized properly, they make an excellent family dog and are fine around children. Originally bred as a working dog, Rotties enjoy having a job to do and are also useful for things like therapy work, herding, and training. They're physically agile and possess great endurance and therefore need daily exercise to stay in shape. Purebred Rottweiler puppies typically cost between $1,500 and $2,500 and are sometimes even more expensive depending on their pedigree. Rotties hailing from prestigious bloodlines can cost upwards of $4,000. But the costs associated with owning a Rottie don't end there, because they're among the most at-risk breeds for hip and joint issues, especially later in life. It's a smart idea to budget $300 per year for health insurance for your Rottweiler. Number 3. Logen Logen is German for little lion and is an appropriate name for this small dog, which is the only breed on today's list that serves strictly as a companion animal. The Logen has been around for over 500 years and stands just a little over a foot tall at the shoulder. Every year, there are only a few hundred new registrations for the relatively rare breed. One of the biggest demands of caring for a Logen is the maintenance of its thick, flowing, wavy coat, which comes in many colors. The Logen's coat is typically styled in a lion cut which requires professional grooming on a regular basis. Now, that can't be cheap, but the primping costs may be worth it for the company of one of these intelligent, extremely friendly, and playful house pets. That is, if you're willing to spend the $3,000 it costs on average to buy one of them in the first place. Number 2. Samoyed The first three words you'll notice if you look at the American Kennel Club's Samoyed profile are adaptable, friendly, and gentle. These smart, adaptable, and highly social dogs love to interact and do not tire out easily. Unlike some of the other dogs on today's list, who would rather have their owners all to themselves, Samoyeds are pack animals who need lots of attention and get destructive and upset when left to their own devices for too long. Samoyeds are as beautiful as they are likable, and they're also highly functional. They were originally bred for hard work in some of the coldest places on Earth, like Siberia, and have evolved accordingly to tolerate harsh and frigid conditions. Their mouths are curved upward to prevent drooling in the bitter cold, causing them to always look like they're kind of smiling, and they're equipped with a thick, warm coat of white fur. These features have enabled Samoyeds to withstand freezing temperatures of up to minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I know a family who breeds Samoyeds, and they seem to have it all. A great personality, the strength and energy to perform work in toughest weather, plus the fluffiest, brilliant white coats. They're so fluffy and soft. The opportunity to own one of these highly praised dogs often comes with a price tag between $4,000 and $10,000. Number 1. Tibetan Mastiff at first glance, this massive dog could be mistaken for a small lion or bear. Unlike most dog breeds, there's no maximum height listed on the American Kennel Club's official page for the Tibetan Mastiff. Instead, 
The page details minimum heights of 26 and 24 inches for males and females respectively, and a weight of up to 150 pounds. And don't let the Tibetan Mastiff's intimidating appearance fool you though, these dogs are more like giant teddy bears than actual bears. While they do tend to be reserved and territorial around strangers, and should be supervised around children or other dogs, their standard demeanor is that of a mellow family dog. Caring for a Tibetan Mastiff typically requires weekly grooming and moderate to heavy exercise, and it can take up to two years to fully train these strong-willed, stubborn dogs. This gentle giant is the most expensive dog in the world. The average price of one varies according to country and is based highly on speculation, but they're known to fetch a pretty penny. In recent years, the breed has become increasingly popular as a luxury pet and status symbol throughout countries like China, where posh pet owners have been known to shell out millions for both adults and puppies. In 2014, one highfalutin Chinese businessman ponied up, get this, 12 million yuan, or $1.9 million for one of these pony-sized dogs. So there you have it, guys. Lots of expensive dogs if you have the money to spend on one. As for my pup Loki, well, he's an English Springer Spaniel and much less expensive than any of the breeds we've been talking about on this list. Now, if you want a dog, but you can't afford to spend all these thousands of dollars, there's some good news. Your local animal shelter is full of loving dogs who are eager to find their forever homes. You know, even expensive ones get abandoned too. And remember to subscribe before you leave so I can see you guys next time.